whether you are a native or not, perhaps a new addition to the Centennial State. Well, the signs of growth and growing pains are impossible to miss. Affordable housing is harder to find, the roads are more crowded, and the demand for drinking water is greater than ever. Well, now two municipalities are waging a water war over how to transport pristine agua out of a northern Colorado community to one in the Denver area. And that battle has now blocked new development. At issue, the water pipeline from Larimer County south to Thornton. A story so big, two of our reporters teamed up to tell it from the two sides. Here are Dylan Thomas and Katie Weiss. We are here on the borders of Weld and Larimer counties where they have installed a steel pipeline which will be taking water from right here in the Cache Laputa River and pumping it south to the city of Thornton, which bought the rights back in the 1980s. But the pipe's installation has actually been met with roadblock after roadblock, with permit denials ultimately threatening the project's viability. And that's a big problem for Thornton because already this debate has prevented the city from welcoming thousands of new residents. And that's the last thing Colorado's sixth largest city wants to happen. This story started four decades ago when the city of Thornton tried to plan ahead for the future, purchasing about 19,000 acres of water in western Larimer County. A lot of people came before us that planned for this. Now, Brett Henry, executive director of infrastructure for the city, says Thornton is ready to tap into that purchase to make way for more population growth. And the Thornton Water Project specifically actually kicked off in 2014. Um, starting the whole process of figuring out, okay, how do we take this water and bring it down? To access the precious resource, the city tried several years ago to build a pipeline to send the water south. This was the old route it had hoped for, taking the water from the northwest of Fort Collins through Weld County and into Adams County. But grassroots groups fought hard against it. For myself, more so was the disruption of the Poudre River. Four years ago, this member of the No Pipe Dream lobby told us he wanted to see Thornton's water be sent down the Poudre River instead to help increase the river's flow. The future of the Poudre River is the future of the Front Range. But Thornton says that solution would barely make a mark in the river's strength and would instead cost the city nearly $1 billion to re-cleanse the water once it reaches Thornton. The drinking water the city currently owns in Larimer County is clean, but if it goes through the river, it could become contaminated with toxic forever chemicals and bacteria. It goes right through the center of Fort Collins. There's obviously wastewater discharges, urban runoff. The, the type of treatment that would be necessary for that would be um, extremely expensive. And then even the, the discharges associated with the treatment processes can be difficult to find an appropriate place to dispose of that byproduct material as well. After Larimer County commissioners shot down Thornton's original proposal, the city sued and this October Thornton lost in a state appeals court. But a judge also ruled Larimer cannot force Thornton to send its water down the Poudre River. The Court of Appeals very clearly stated that that was not something that the Larimer County commissioners could be considering. Instead of more appeals, the city is going back to the drawing board to try to make things work with Larimer County Commissioners. It's a compromise the city's Deputy Director of City Development, Jason O'Shea, says Thornton desperately needs. Uh, we currently have a population of 147,000. We have a water in our water portfolio to get us to 162,000. And most of that water is, has been taken for developments. So it's been spoken for. So about how many proposed developments would you say are being frozen at this point as a result of this water dispute? In some phase or fashion, 20 to 30 that are already active in our process or have been approved by council but need to go back through some portions of our process, up, up to 18,000 units, for example. 18,000 yeah. units. So about three people per unit. So do the math on there, 54,000 people would be added just from what we've gotten zoned already and no site plan or, or plat in process, yeah. That's 54,000 potential new residents in your city. When you think about that, that 54,000 potential people can't come and live here, how does that make you feel? It's frustrating for sure. For a compromise to happen, O'Shea says they need communication from Larimer County Commissioners, something the city says they still haven't gotten despite multiple requests for sit-down meetings. What do you hope gives in this situation to to allow things to move forward yeah conversation so it's, we pride ourselves on our conversation at the city development department and uh, yeah with, with the hope that Larimer could come to the count the table with our staff and, and work these things out and move forward
And while Thornton waits for Larimer to come to the table, the city is drawing up a new proposal. Generally speaking, the alignments that we're looking at um, tend to stay north of that area and then follow either previously approved pipeline projects, such as the Northern Integrated Supply Project was a pipeline that Larimer County approved after ours, um, or other you know, areas that kind of minimize impacts to the, the local residents or the, the local natural resources. Some people feel that Larimer's holding your water hostage right now. Do you see it in that way? You know, the, the Court of Appeals was, like I said, I think a good, um, a good check on kind of the how process, the entire process had gone. You know, again, we had, we had gone into it always with the, the good faith efforts, um, if, again, using the corridor approach. But again, I, I can see the other side of the coin as far as why isn't it up that way. Um, I, I do wish there could be more dialogue with Larimer County themselves uh, as far as, again, figuring out what, uh, what their needs are and what our needs are and how we can actually meet in the middle. Now, during the course of our investigation, Thornton City officials tell me they were finally able to get a sit down meeting with some staff for the Larimer County Commission, but they tell me that meeting wasn't very productive. Now, Dylan, I understand you were also able to speak with some staff as well. Yeah, and we had actually, like Thornton, asked to speak with the commissioners themselves, but instead were deferred to a staff member who tried to explain to us their perspective of what has gone on and also to explain to us what Thornton has to do to get this project going. And this is what they had to say. It's not necessarily an us versus them type thing. In the heart of Old Town, Fort Collins. The commissioners made their decision and the court reinforced that decision. Um, that's where we are today. The Board of Commissioners stands by its repetitive denials of Thornton's pipeline through Larimer County. We asked to speak with the commissioners to understand exactly why they denied the applications. There's multiple ways to do multiple projects. The commissioners deferred our questions to Michelle Bird, Public Affairs Director for the county. She argues Thornton is not giving its best effort to prioritize the health and well being of Larimer County residents. The county absolutely thinks that the criteria in their land use code are achievable criteria. It's the first time a county representative has spoken with CBS News Colorado about their side of the Thornton Water Pipeline debate and the strict criteria laid out in the applications. They're put in place like all of our land use code. It's put in place to protect the health, the safety and the welfare of our Larimer County residents. Many residents like Dick Brouch argue Thornton's pipeline would jeopardize those qualities of life. It makes it pretty much impossible to farm any of this. In 2018, Thornton wanted to use eminent domain to build a pump station in the middle of his farm. I have no desire to sell this farm. It's been in my family for 60 years. Many other residents along Douglas Road argued the pipeline would cause months or years of traffic detours. It's not necessarily an instance of inconvenience. That's not why the application was denied. It was the impact on their health, safety and welfare. While Thornton hopes to reach a compromise, the county has no interest. Unfortunately, this is a situation where we don't do negotiations. That's not how land use processes work. Bird said the commissioners aren't there to give tips and advice, but rather to act like like a judge overseeing a set of rules, and they're either followed or they aren't. The application did not meet the criteria necessary to um, approve the application, so the application was denied in 2020. And if a project can't be done without jeopardizing the health and safety, then maybe it's not a good project to do. And if Thornton thought the county's criteria was difficult before, a new board of commissioners has more than doubled the standards. We have a new board of county commissioners since the application was last heard. And this Board of County Commissioners saw how our community is growing very quickly, the urban renewal interface is changing, and so they decided they needed to update the land use code to further protect the health and welfare of our community members. Bird said the additional criteria was not added just because of Thornton. They're not interested in preventing projects from happening or preventing people from doing the things with, with their property that they want to. She noted that the rules also apply to Larimer County itself and they wouldn't make rules that would make their own projects unreasonably difficult or expensive. The commissioners made their decision and it's done. Um, if Thornton wants to, wants to renew the project, they're going to have to go through the process again. So they're going to have to start from the beginning. If Thornton can submit an application that meets all of the criteria, the commissioners are interested in, in making sure that that's a project that can, that can meet their needs and also keep our residents safe. And Katie Larimer County tells me they're looking forward to hearing Thornton's next proposal for their pipeline so long as it meets the 30 criteria they have outlined. Yeah, it will continue to follow this ongoing water fight and let you know how things develop. For now, I'm Katie Weiss. And I'm Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.